at 4 o'clock, restaurant workers in the Virginia Highland area are on alert after a frightening incident for one employee. Channel 2's Wendy Halloran is live in Northeast Atlanta. Wendy, restaurant employees you talked with say that they're already on edge after a series of violent crimes. That's right, they did. Restaurant workers that I talked to are definitely on edge, but this time they're just glad that no one was hurt. You know, because it's a community here. Lillian Paris works at George's Barn Restaurant across from Fontaine's Oyster House in the Virginia Highland area. When one person or one store or something is attacked around here, it kind of affects every, all of us, you know, because like, could we be next? Atlanta police say just after four Wednesday morning, a male employee of Fontaine's showed up to help a co worker close down the restaurant. He went down to the storage room and saw an unusual gray SUV with a South Carolina license plate backed up to the storage room. And once inside, he noticed the mail that was inside there as well. Atlanta Police Sergeant John Chafee says... He confronted that mail. The mail advised that he had a gun. The employee ran upstairs and locked the door and told the other employee to call 911. Cameras at nearby intersections did not capture the suspect, but APD is hopeful they'll find some store surveillance cameras that may have. This is especially troubling for Amber Dupree, who works across the street at Moe's and Joe's Tavern. You've got so many people coming in and out, which is what we do. We deal with people. So it's, sometimes it's very difficult to determine who's supposed to be here and who's not. She's sickened over last month's murder of the manager of the Barcelona wine bar. Just a lot of my friends were very, very close to Chelsea, who was the latest victim at Barcelona. Now, the suspect is described as a skinny, older African-American man who had a silver and pepper hair and a beard as well. I'm going over the police report to determine what he may have been after. I'll have that for you live on Channel 2 Action News at 5. Reporting live in Northeast Atlanta, Wendy Halloran, Channel 2 Action News.